Hey YouTube, today we're going to be doing a weekly roundup for the tweaks that's been released this week. First one I want to share with you is called Gotha, and it is in the ModMy repo for $1.99. And what Gotha does is simply add some more features to your contacts. It will allow you to simply just swipe right or left over a contact, and if you swipe right, you get this pop up here where you can send message, phone, email. Twitter, Facebook, or you can go to the internet. If you swipe left, it brings up the delete button if you want to delete that contact. So if we tap that, we get a confirmation down here if we really want to delete. If we tap confirm, then that's deleted. The contacts, uh, I'm sorry, the settings for Gotha are very simple. There, it only has two. Enable delete, meaning if you turn that off, you won't have the delete option. And if you toggle the ask for confirmation off, you won't get that little pop-up down at the bottom that we got to confirm the delete. That's all Gotha does. It's in Mama Eye for $1.99. The second one I want to share with you is called Insta Launcher. Insta Launcher lets you search through all of your applications simply by at one time simply by setting an activator. And I have mine to double press and hold the status bar. And you see you can swipe through all the different apps that are on your uh, device to to uh, search for whatever it is you may want and they are in alphabetical order if we were looking for weather we could simply just go down here to the W's and you see we get the weather pulled up and it's very easy just hold over top of it and there it is and you can set favorites by going into the settings and there are several things you can change on this um, let me show you a little bit about it first you set your activation method inside here and then you can if you don't want to search certain apps you can turn on you can turn them off in here and it won't show up in insta launcher and you can change your layout being a vertical icons only list the icons to the right to the left so let's put them to the right and see what that looks like uh, here's the favorites I was referring to and I have some turned on App Store and let's turn on uh, just any any little thing here just to get a pop let's so let's say contacts so now when we go back out we should get a pop-up on the right well now you may have to respring I'm not sure uh, but anyway our favorite should be working now so when we come over here you see there's recent and then here's favorites we got four listed down here. Looks like you can put up to six in there. But that's called Insta Launcher, and it's $1.99 in the Big Boss repo. Next is one of my favorites as well called Buddy Lock. It's a lock screen application, and you probably already noticed on my lock screen it looks quite differently. Uh, you can change the square down here to be round if you prefer that. Uh, you can change these applications these four applications to be whatever you want as well as in the folder here you can change them too so let's go to settings and let's go into buddy lock and here's the theme you see we've got it set on white so let's go back to the round default and here you can change opacity of the icons and the uh, slider as well as the size of it you can ch turn on the uh, header here to make it whatever color you want. Let's turn it to red. The status bar now will be red when we go to the... Okay, you see now up here at the top, the big bar there. It's not the status bar, I don't guess. But you see our uh, lock buttons are now round and they're more transparent. Um, the, the lock screen app here you can set up to five. And there's where you set what you want them to be. So calendar, you see now when we go back out, the first app calendar we changed right there. If we, So we could change them to be whatever we wanted right here. So co pretty cool tweak, guys. It's 99 cents in Big Boss Repo. And the next one is called Stopwatch Pro. Stopwatch Pro adds some much-needed features to the stopwatch on in the... Uh, clock application of the device iOS device 
you can actually save times here if you start let it run let's say four or five seconds and when it, and we're going to uh, keep a time of our lap so that lap one was 7.5 and lap two is um, five three point oh you see what it does now if we want to save all that we just hit the save button and now when we come back in here we can just see those times whatever they may be and we can compare you know if we're getting any better or not or you may be maybe you're uh timing different individuals and you could have them be number one two three four right on down and keep times that way but pretty cool. It's 99 cents. All right, guys. Last but not least is one of my all-time favorites called Home Display. And here's what it looks like in Cydia. You will need to search for Home Display. It's $2 in the Big Boss repo. What it does, it puts a little bar below your status bar there. You see I have July 29, 2013 on the left, 79 degrees on the right. It gives you your date and temperature at a glance. And it's pretty cool. There's not any... Uh, settings other than just enable disable so there's your settings for home display I think you'll enjoy it don't forget guys hit that subscribe button before you leave and keep coming back